Hey guys, today we're going to create an introduction for a song in BandLab. So before we get started, have a listen to one that I whipped up in this tutorial. So I've logged into BandLab, as you can see from my profile picture up here. If I click on Create, Let's Make Music, then I'm given uh, some choices for creating a new track based on certain templates. But for today, let's just choose Browse Loops. This will take us straight into the different loop packs. Um, basically, normally you're shown this view uh, of all the different loop packs available, and there's quite a lot in various styles, so I'd recommend you have a listen to the preview of that style. Cool. Select one. We'll try this one here. And once I've selected it and clicked on it, um, not on the play button, you you might notice, uh, yeah, I clicked just on the main body of that uh, particular loop pack, and you'll see there's various uh, loops. Click on them to preview them. You have different types of loops. Generally, you can break them into the categories of bass lines, uh, drum beats, and then things such as synths, keyboards, uh, guitars, that sort of thing. And then you'll also have your more melodic kind of parts. So if you make an introduction, you probably want to start with some kind of chordal or beat based. Okay, let's try this one. Say we like this uh, particular chord pack, we just drag it over into the project and I'll start it right from bar one. Now, uh, let's, let's choose to make an introduction around 16 bars. So I'll grab this little uh, looping symbol there and stretch that to the right and we want to be able to see across to here, the end of bar 16, the start of bar 17. So that's now given us uh, four lots of four bars for our introduction. And let's hear that from the start. How about we see how a bass line can interact with that? So since we're in the glitz um, section, let's try it. pretty cool. That's a more simple one. Let's start with the more busy one. Try again. And position it so it goes between bars 5 to 9 
and let's loop it out to the end of bar 16 as well. Excellent. So now we'd have four bars of just the chords. Cool. And let's think about adding in a beat. That one sounds good to me. So let's throw that in. That's only a two bar loop. And we'll have to repeat that so it stretches out to end of bar 16 again. And you'll see the repetitions of that loop show up. Cool. So we've almost completed our introduction. but I feel like we could have another layer add to keep building intensity. Cool. So what other sounds have we got available? Percussion. Great. We've got a lead sound here. I like this hooky sort of one. Bring that in right on the bar line at 13. And just ensure that it does go for two whole bars. And let's hear what that sounds like from about bar 11. And you notice you can set up loops um, by highlighting a certain section. So I accidentally did that one, but I can probably remove it if I just click there. Cool. And drag back to 11. Cool, so we've got a whole 16 bar intro. You might decide, hey, I think I'd like to have a quiet percussion part over the whole lot. What about we just put this here right from the beginning and stretch it out. But we could mix it in a bit quieter. Let's, we'll see where it sits right now. Rewind, play. That's kind of cool to me, I like it. And you might say, hey, I do like it, but I want it to be slightly faster. So instead of 90 BPM, I want it to be 95. So I'll change that. Then it would ask me if I want to stretch the audio. I'll say, yeah, let's please stretch it to match the tempo. And it has a think. Now it's a little faster. I mean, I really do prefer the 95. So we, I press Control Z. And you can actually undo and redo in this program, which is quite cool. And it's back to 90, 90 beats per minute again. So that's pretty much, uh, you can consider that's my intro. Let's have a listen. Great, so we have a song introduction. We might consider some kind of a uh, reverse cymbal or a riser or something to build up a bit of tension before 
uh, this change of section, which could be a chorus. So let's just check a few samples here. I mean, that's kind of a nice little herald to the um, chorus, you know, we could put that in. You know, consider some way of sort of um, leading into that. What do the horns sound like? Okay, as a trumpeter, I find that mildly offensive. That's not at all like a trumpet. Never mind. It's got a cool retro sound though. Um, so I'd be looking for some kind. Let's look for a riser. So let's remove the uh, filter because we're currently within the party pop. Reset that filter. And let's type in riser. Let's see if any risers pop. 80s riser. That's kind of cool. It's pretty loud. Uh, let's have a look. So you might think, hey, let's just bring it in a bit quieter. So I'm going to mix it down a bit, maybe even down like 15 dB. And that could lead in quite nicely. Um, then I might have my wind chimes sort of just overlap the start of the chorus there. You know, so um, get creative. There's different kinds of risers. That's not really appropriate for this style. Kind of cool. Nice. I like that one. I mean, that could be used later in the song. I'm getting carried away here, but check this one out. There's no way you'd use it here. Or would you? Maybe I will actually use it there. So um, that's enough fiddling around for me. It's time for you to try messing around with that and see if you can uh, create your own introduction using BandLab. Go for it.